Hey, what's up guys? So we are playing some Mermel and Land Hits, and this is the pure build. Don't worry, there's no more tour guides in here. But I had to keep MBLs because that card was way too good. And I forgot to put in Giga Brilliant, and I drew this card, which I hate drawing. I hate drawing this card so much. Um, I'm just gonna go for the attack, I mean... Uh, I guess I can get another normal summon. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna summon this. And I like this card a lot. It's like the, uh... It's like the Sangan, I guess you could call it. Because it's like, you destroy it, I don't even care. Oh, he's playing the same deck. Awesome. <laughs> I think it's the same deck. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what does this have for defense? Oh, it has 1,200. Okay. This card's not that bad, though. Okay, at least it's a tuner, plus it's a dark. So I'm still running Black House of Soldier in here. So um, <clears throat> what I like about this deck is it has a lot of pluses. And in the mirror match, it's going to be pretty interesting. I want to see what's going to happen. Um, I did forget to forget your Brilliant, like I mentioned. Um... And that will hurt me a lot, actually, because the, I probably would take out, like, uh, maybe, like, an Android or something. Or maybe, like, this, because I, I hardly go for <clears throat> rank threes uh, that are not Zenmings. I guess I could take out this. Or maybe Roach. But it, it is pretty easy to get, you know, rank fours in here, honestly. I've been doing it uh, a lot more often now without the tour guides. <laughs> because that, that, I usually summon other things besides the tour guide now. So he's going for, oh, he's got the play. <clears throat> and that, this, is, this is the best play in the deck. Check out this play. It's not that good now that I have the uh, the mermail. Um, what's her name? Abyss Lind. Um, okay, he's gonna send that to the graveyard. And this, is, this is how plus you can go. So you can add. Well, he can add that one to his hand. Really? Um, oh, wow. Any sea serpent type monster from deck. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> he can do that. So he's gonna discard that and. Um, Discard two, <clears throat> so he can uh, target a set card, and he oh he's adding okay. He will, however, be able to attack twice. Oh, he's gonna get Death Sphere. That's a pretty good card. Uh, we're both playing like uh, Mirror Match, I guess, um, and we're playing pretty much the uh, similar builds, I'd say. Um, so I want to see how this works out. So he's getting to add two. Oh, he adds one. F he adds the depth, and then he gets to add another one with the Seahorseman. So maybe I should bump my Seahorseman up to two. I'm only running, uh, I mean, sorry, three. So he's tributing that card, and so he gets to attack. And I will take, um, was it 900 from that? And then I can uh, get my effect, unless he wants a warning, which he can warning uh, my poor Lind. Um, and I'm going to go for the same card, because this is the strongest one. Uh, he can point for point if he wants. And I think he should, yeah, because if he does not point for point, I can summon something and then just tribute and it becomes a problem. But I do happen to uh, have this card, and this card's really good. He's setting a uh, depth, which I don't even... Wait, can the depth... Is it any? I forgot. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to remember. Um, darn it. Okay, so let's see what do I want to do. I wish I could just add this card back, but I can't. Um, I can add that card back. I, I kind of want to summon this, and maybe pop one back row. That could be an option. Um, so that way I would thin my deck and not draw into this this card, which is bad. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. So if I could Marksman, attack him, and then go for a level 4. It's not, it's not even like that good. Uh, let's go with this. Then we're gonna pop that one because that one is the uh, card that we do not want to pop because that will be attainable. So we're gonna send um, marksman to the graveyard, and we're gonna add this to our hand, and then uh, we're gonna pop this one because we don't want to pop that fish depth spell. That would be bad for us to do that. So we're gonna pop, it. and we will attack. He will then special summon. Um, he might special summon. He might not do it. He can, though. It's up to him if he wants to. Oh, he's going to take it. Okay. It's usually good to save that card. I know what it is. <laughs> so, it might have been a better idea for him to just use it. Um, but I hit Space Typhoon. It's okay. I mean, it's still technically a plus. And this card's actually like a... I don't know. You could call it a plus, too, if like the effects go off. So, it's not bad. But, uh, just running these normal monsters, I, I really don't like to. Maybe I should actually run Treeborn. Um... I haven't thought about playing Treeborn in here, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, it just allows you to you know, like run enemy controller. He gets his effect off, which is, makes me sad because I want my Deep Sea Diva. <laughs> um, and let's see what he goes for. Oh, I'm going to <laughs> take a lot of damage right now because uh, attack me for Allure.
I really hate drawing that card. Maybe I should run like Tori and learn here. But uh, I will take uh, 200 damage from that, and he will get his effect to special summon a level 4 lower. Sea Serpent. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to go for. He can go for a lot of things. I mean, he can go for a level 8 Synchro. Um, but that's what he goes for. Um, okay, so he's going for that card. That card, this card is, I think, one of their favorite cards. Uh, so I take 200. Okay. Um, and now he can go for Agachi if he wishes to, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, this becomes 1800. I probably can't get over that, <laughs> realistically. Uh, honest, because, yeah, I probably can't deal with that. That's going to be a, a task for me. Uh, I'm going to go for... Yeah, I can go for this. Okay, so we can go for our appointment here. Uh, this leads to the grave, and... Go for. Um, I really want to go for Cataster. I guess I could have attacked over that, then made Cataster main phase two. Hmm. You can, you can always get over either one of these. I'll get rid of that. Okay, and then now it doesn't have a boost. Should we set Salvage? No, I want to add Diva back. <laughs> Diva, pretty good card. Um, unfortunately, I just drew too many monsters, I think. Uh, especially drawing one of these. That card's awful. <laughs> I don't like drawing it. Uh, but I do have Marae of Greeds, and just unfortunately I didn't draw any. But it happens. Um, actually, he's probably going to end up uh, Sink, perhaps. I'm trying to think of what he can Sink for. Because I think the only thing you can go for is pretty much like rank three uh, exceeds. I mean, I guess you can go for rank four if you have two of those uh, Seahorse spin, but he's already used two of them. All right, Mangle Abyss, and he's already used how many? He's used one Armin? Yeah, he's only used one Armin. Armin not really like a power card, but it's like a card that you have to take into consideration. Like, have they used all of them? No, it's true. I, I never have Gorgas. No, actually, I always have Gorgas. Or Trag. I don't play it either one of those both decks. <laughs> okay, so he's going to go for OTK. So I want to see how this OTK works, because... Uh... Okay, so he's going to add that Okay, to his hand. That's pretty good. I probably should be doing that play. Um, but I'm still learning the deck. And uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, I had Undine. I probably should have went for that to send the Seahorse guy and to add that one. And I could discard... Uh, these two, and I could have popped both back rows. And so I guess he's destroying that one with uh, the, uh, the Armsman. Okay. So he's going to add a Death Sphere, which is... He's got already a one of them set, so pretty good. Um, let's see how this OTK works. Is it just the OTK from simply just attacking? Okay, so he's going to tribute... Oh, he can attack twice, so I'll take 48. And 14. Oh, so yeah, I didn't see how that was OTK. Oh, right, he gets to special summon another monster. <laughs> it's true, though. I, I mean, look what I had. <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, well, I, I know that one was Death Sphere. He added that, but I had too many monsters. I literally had... <laughs> oh, so maybe I should put an alert. So I'm going to take his advice. We're going to put an alert of darkness in here. Uh, I'm going to ask what dark does he run. <laughs> But, oh, whoop. Dark, I can't even spawn darks. So I want to see what darks. Oh, he plays Burbent. I probably would play Burbent. He'd play double Burbent. Okay. So he plays double Burbent. I'm going to ask him to play his tour guide. Yeah, I know. You can summon Diva, bounce back Diva. It's pretty good. Uh, summon Diva, bring Arts. Let's bounce. Let's, let's see this play. Bounce. Oh, that's a pretty nasty play. Because uh, the Armors Man allows you to... Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm probably going to check out Birdman. Because um, my de my deck is not as good, I'd say, as his. Uh, also, uh, it's because I think I probably made a mistake. I probably should have sent the, the Seahorse guy. Was it Seahorse Man? Is that his name? What's his name? Seahorse Min. Oh, it's, it's, it's Min. 
Oh, there's two of them. Oh, okay. I'll say Min usually is more than one. But anyways, so I, I probably should have sent the Seahorse, man. Added the uh, Megalo Abyss and then popped both back. Her, well, I couldn't pop one. I probably would have just popped one. Um, but yeah, so definitely I can see my mistakes. And I'm going to try to uh, play the this deck a little bit more and play it pure, like, uh, a little bit better. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Ice White Dragon, signing out. Oh, I had a mint defeat. <laughs>